guys, very exciting day. I've got a football hoverboard for unboxing. Let's go and take a look. Finally have chance to unbox it. I just want to give you guys the best unboxing experience. It comes with a little box. Ooh, look at that. A football shaped hoverboard. All right. Um, so this is a hoverboard that you could ride and it's shaped like a uh, NFL a football, American football. Basically the shape of the football makes it a little bit perfect for a hoverboard. Uh, this is a product from High Boy. It's called the High Boy Football A5. Right? This is an absolute must for football lovers like myself. Go Niners, by the way. Uh, it's got 50.4 volts to amp hour. Uh, what else is in the box? It just comes with an adapter. Um, charges at 58 volts, all right? Which means this is more like a, the battery in it is probably gonna be like a, uh, like a 13S. So pretty powerful stuff. Super, super duper excited. Uh, it's got these handles so you can carry it easily. There's a power button here. I got it turned on and the lights come on. There's green LED there and there's LED there in the front. But let me go ahead and charge this thing before I go on it and we'll do a quick video outside and check it out. Hey guys, so I actually been practicing with it for a couple days because uh, it wasn't exactly like, like super easy to, all right? But basically you get your left foot on first uh, with the LED here facing you for this way. Don't get on the wrong way and then uh, once you put your right foot on there, um, you're gonna have to really balance yourself. So once you're balanced, you gotta uh, sort of lean forward slowly, and then it's gonna let you go forward. <laughs> um, but this is a little bit harder than a regular hoverboard, but at the same time, because the wheels are around, uh, it allows you to get those uh, really nice turns. Um, it's somewhat between I would say somewhat between a, a one wheel and a hoverboard because it's not exactly like a hoverboard. Thanks. <laughs> um, because, you know, it's it's got only one wheel. It's not even a wheel, it's a football. And uh, you can go pretty fast on it, seven miles per hour. Uh, on a full charge, you get uh, almost, I don't know, five to seven miles, it says on there. And it uses uh, 58 volts which is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty powerful battery. Um, so really like it. Um, it does totally exercise your legs because you got a constant balance. And the first time I got on it, it was just like really, really hard. Uh, but it took me about an hour to sort of be able to balance myself. And then the second day it got easier. Um, you can also go up pretty steep inclines. Uh, I've actually been able to go up uh, the inclines by my house, which is 30% grade. Even though it doesn't go fast, you, the fact that you can, oh! Actually, I don't know if we're gonna go that way. The waves are pretty crazy out here. Also, you can go off-road. We're gonna go ahead and test it out over there. I really love this. It just, uh, it's a really cool feeling. Ooh. Let me see if I can go off-road here. <laughs> Look at that, go off road too. That's really cool. It's a little bit harder off road, uh, but yeah, you can go over uh, grass, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, this is still my third day, so I'll need more practice. The good thing is you can totally go over a lot of bumps and whatnot. Whew. So you basically lean forward a little bit uh, and go through some sand here. And uh, if you want to turn, you just basically sort of move uh, lower one of the legs. And it's pretty natural once you get hang of it. It's a real interesting feeling. Uh, unlike a regular hoverboard, you do have to balance yourself more, but this is definitely, uh, you know, a really cool football. 
You can see it's going over all this sand real nice. So you're never gonna get stuck on sand. I haven't tried uh, actually the beach sand. I don't know if it's gonna work. It's probably not gonna work. Ooh, ooh, this is gonna be scary. All right, let me see. I don't think it's gonna go over these things, but like, we'll just attempt it. Oh, yeah, this is way too deep. So let's go ahead and do an off-road test over here. The only thing with this is it, it does it does get scratched up real easily, uh, but it is made out of metal, um, so don't expect it to uh, stay too too clean. So definitely very good uh, off-road capabilities. Um, you know, if you're on like a urethane skateboard, you're gonna just get stuck here. Uh, it's not the most terrible off-road here, but. For light off-road, uh, this is going to work out really good. But it's a ton of uh, workout. <laughs> so you may have to take some breaks. I think once you get good at it, this should be pretty easy to do. All right. When you step down, just go on the left and you're good. So I really like it. Uh, it's like 16 pounds. So it's not exactly light, but I like the handles. Um, so it's, the handles are so nice, you can actually probably just use it as weights, and, you know? I work out. <laughs> um, really like the size. Hey, so yeah. you're getting a, there's a spring inside? No, it's a motor. It is a motor. Right? Yeah. Anyway, I really love it. Uh, this is going to be my new favorite mode of transportation. I mean, if you're thinking about getting one, I mean, I think it's a terrific uh, uh, balancing because it does take up a ton of energy. It, it's, a, it's a great uh, balancing exercise also, because you're constantly balancing. So you do have to take a couple breaks, but I uh, really love it. Definitely good for uh, sidewalks. So for turns, you simply turn your uh, body and it just sort of, sort of follows you, so. Not too hard to turn. I think this is a perfect uh, commuting device for shorter distances. Uh, or just having fun with it. And the football itself is almost like eight or 10 inch. Uh, so it's, you know, it's, it can go over pretty much a lot of things. It's really nice. <laughs> 